What's up, everybody? Doc Dog 185. There's levels to this. All right, guys, I got a quick conversation for you guys today. Somehow, Cyberpunk 77 has survived. And it's like the game that never wanted to die or never wants to die. Now, this game is very interesting to me because many people had different experiences with this game. If you played this game on PC and you had a strong enough a strong enough hardware or if you played it believe it or not on uh, Google Stadia you actually had a pretty good experience. I think when it first came out they were saying that Google Stadia was actually the best way to play this game, right? Which is it shows the power of the cloud when it's done right, okay? Now me myself, I actually finished Cyberpunk in May of 2021. And I actually played it on PC, but I mostly streamed it, played it on the cloud. Now, I actually didn't use Google Stadia. I actually used in my NVIDIA Shield. So that's the way I streamed the game to my NVIDIA Shield, and I was playing it like that, okay? Um, I remember enjoying the game. I remember liking the game. But the game to me wasn't anything revolutionary. It was a good game. That's what I would say. It was a good game. I enjoyed it. It was a good game. It didn't do anything crazy that I can remember. It didn't do anything crazy different. The story was okay, but I'm a fan of first person shooters and it's definitely a first person shooter and it was it was fun to play. I would I would probably play it again. Sure, why not? Okay. Now, I remember that before this game came out though, I had a coworker that was hyping this game up like crazy. And they were hyping it because of who made the game, right? And the same consensus, the same consensus came across the internet just because of who made the game. I think uh, CD Projekt Red, right? And the games that they made before, stuff like The Witcher, which yes, amazing game. Okay, the game came out, and I remember there was a, a debacle with the whole with the early access and and the first reviewers and everything and, and the whole embargo thing and then the game finally came out to the masses and it was so bad that it even came off of uh, the playstation store right so shout out for sony for doing that saying now nah, you're not even going to be able to be played on our store and everyone had the, the same general conclusion that cyberpunk was hampered because they try to make it run on last gen hardware Okay, fast forward now to 2022, the end of 2022, and this game has had tremendous patches, right, come out for it, and somehow the game is has always still been relevant. To my knowledge, the game doesn't have a multiplayer, right? It's still just the core essential game. The game hasn't really changed much. Why is this game refusing to go out? I think it's uh I think it's noble and I think it's something that I, I would like to know. Definitely give me your opinion. Why why is has this game just not died? You would think that those that got to enjoy it on the PC and on Stadia, you know, okay, we got to enjoy it. It is what it is. Those that had horrible console experiences, like, hey, just stop playing it and that's it. But why did you go back? Why is this game selling well right now? Like, why is this game back in the news, right? To me, it's very interesting. Now, I know, uh, shout out to my boy, Iso Motion Gaming. He mentioned something to the fact that there's, um, uh, what do you say? There's an anime or, or there's a show or something that came out. So that might be what's resurging this. Is that really what it is? Let me know what you guys think because I'm curious. And if if Cyberpunk could do it, can every game do what Cyberpunk did? Has there been another game out there like Cyberpunk that has done this? Came out horrible launch and pretty much essentially came out broken to like 80% of the audience, right? Or 80% of the market. And then slowly kept getting patched up. And for whatever reason, the consumer still didn't give up on the game. And again, it's not a multiplayer game. It's just a first-person shooter with a few futuristic um, 
I guess, elements to it. <laughs> the The world is cool, but it to, to me, it wasn't as... It didn't capture me as much as... Um, man, even right now that I'm playing Red Dead Redemption, the first one, to me, this world is more believable and it captures me more. Like, I actually feel like I'm in the wild, wild west, right? Where this game, Cyberpunk, like, felt like I was... In a video game almost felt kind of familiar like like another game tried to do something similar to it but i don't know i thought it was a good game like i said i finished it i beat it on steam so i'm just curious what do you guys think why did this game not die doc dog 1985 is levels to this we out peace